Hey everybody, um, hope you guys are all staying safe and doing well. I'm going to go ahead and talk about Watson Discovery today. Um, so Watson Discovery is a really great um, tool from IBM that is a very smart, intelligent search. Um, and it basically is able to process large amounts of data and helps you search those documents and it helps you break those documents up into um, sentiment. So it has sentiment analysis built in, it has natural language understanding built in. So it has the has a way to go ahead and parse those words and those documents into intents um, to uncover meanings such as companies, people, uh, location, dates, percentages, things like that. Um, and it's able to do that at a really, really, really fast speed. So today I want to kind of show you a use case of putting in a pretty hard to decipher um, insurance document. It's about 58 pages. So um, that is pretty, um, pretty small. Um, for what Watson can do, um, but they should at least get you um, understanding and um, seeing how you would be able to apply this to a much larger use case or a much more um, interesting use case. Um, so why don't we go ahead and get started? The first thing you'll need to do is you need to have a free um, IBM Cloud account. So this um, Watson Discovery is actually a completely free service, so you don't need to pay anything to try it out. Um, so what you want to do is you, you're in the IBM Cloud and you just search for Discovery. Um, so you can see Discovery right here. Click on that. And this is basically the page where you could create the service. So when you create a service, it'll basically create a runtime for you. So you're able to use IBM servers to create an instance, which is kind of creating this runtime that is able to query these models. So you're kind of renting out IBM servers at this point to use their processing power to process these large documents. Um, so the light plan is here is free. Um, it can do um, 1,000 documents per month, um, 200 queries per month, one model, etc. So I've already created my, um, I've already created my free service. So once you actually create it, um, you're gonna this is kind of what the service looks like. You can give it a different name and then you can click on launch Watson Discovery. And you can see my plan is light, so I'll be having a similar plan as you, but you can always upgrade to have more features and more advanced capabilities. So we'll click on launch Watson Discovery here. In a second, um, we'll get to the dashboard. So this is kind of the main dashboard for Watson Discovery. You can see that we have a um, COVID-19 data kit. So that'll give you some pre-populated queries, some pre-populated data that you may need to solve a COVID-19 problem for your customers. For now, we're gonna work, um, focus more on insurance in this home insurance example, but I'll link it in the description so you can uh, download this for free as well and you're able to use it too. Uh, but basically what I wanna show you is I wanna see if we can ask Watson if plumbing is going to be covered under the policy so we can check for plumbing So you can see that and under the what is covered section um, it says uh, one that plumbing uh, Problems related to these water cold hot and cold water pipes are actually covered So we want to be able to extract that information and instead of reading through all of these uh, Documents ourselves. We want to see that Watson can actually answer that for us um, so a natural progression that you can think of is that we would train, doc train Watson on this document and then be able to link these queries and have an API call within our chatbot application that would actually go ahead and look up these answers within Watson Discovery. So that's kind of the end use case a lot of times. You can kind of have, have a standalone application that doesn't have to um, be a chatbot, but that is kind of a natural progression and there's a lot of integrations that IBM has built in within Watson Assistant, so their chatbot service and um, Watson Discovery, which is the search uh, document search service. So just kind of giving you some ideas there. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and upload your own data and we'll call this home insurance. Um, so we'll click on select document here and I have the PDF ready. You'll see that it takes a couple minutes to actually process the data. Okay, so now that we see that Watson has actually indexed the document, we can see the entities that it is indexed. We can see the sentiment analysis. We can see, we can see the concepts um, that it has tagged, and we can also add more enrichments if we want. We can add more keywords. 
um, other other things that may help you um, use Watson and extract more details. But for now, I want to focus on a different aspect of discovery. So one of the newest features is actually called uh, Smart Document and Understanding. Um, so first, let's go ahead and see if Watson can um, uh, build this query for us and answer the qu correct question of is plumbing covered under insurance? So we can say does my ins um, does my insurance cover plumbing? We can see that it has these um, passages. You know what is it? What your policy covers? What your policy does not cover? Um, but we don't have much about plumbing um, and we can see it comes up with some some things like it does not cover day-to-day -day maintenance at your home so it does come up with some answers but not exactly what we were looking for so let's see if actually let's see if we can improve this query by using smart document understanding so we'll go back and we'll go into configure data so now we can actually index and choose exactly what to feed Watson. So instead of giving it a bunch of garbage data, as you know, AI and data science is really all about what data you feed into the system and how you're able to train the system to tell it whether it's relevant data or not relevant data. So for example, for us, we don't really care about um, since, and, and kind of just to give you a little background, when you think about Watson, it's using optical character recognition to kind of scan the whole page. So it doesn't know that home insurance, this top header and re redefining standards, that's not important. It doesn't know that. We need to teach it that that's not really important and that's not what we're looking for. And we need to teach it exactly what is important. So um, for example, um, you know, Watson knows that this is a header and it knows that this is text, which is true. I'll just say this is a header and then we need to train it that it's a footer. submit page. So basically what you do is you you choose these uh, field labels and I think this is actually really fun. I'm really really happy with how um, the IBM team did this um, because it's really fun just to kind of you know see see uh, see the page kind of light up in different colors and choose everything. It's kind of fun. Um, so um, you'll see you'll see once you kind of try this out but it's really fun to kind of index and annotate this document so basically we can say that hey this is a table of contents and and honestly I don't really need table of contents because it won't really have that much um, answers to my questions but this is kind of how we get started we're gonna keep annotating this document I'm gonna kind of speed this up real quick um, but basically you'll need to provide Watson what you think is valuable and what you are trying to answer with these queries. And you can see down here the latest and live predictions of the latest ML model. So Watson's gonna keep trying to learn and predict um, what these fields are. So at this point, you see that the um, ML model is, is accurately predicting that this is a table and this is a footer. So I'm going to speed through this. So at this point, um, it's less of a table and it's more of just text. Um, so. I'm gonna go ahead and add in these things as text now. Okay, so now that you see we've annotated every single page in the document, we can click on Apply Changes to Collection. And um, essentially, I'm just going to upload the document again. 
So we're going to take the model that we built and we're going to apply it. And you'll see that the documents are going to be split now. So instead of one document, we should have a lot more. Um, and basically we can go back and we can go back into manage fields and we can go ahead and say, hey, we don't really care about the footer or the header. Um, and we want to split the document on actual subtitle. And then um, we don't care about table of contents. We do care about text. Um, we do care about title, table, of course. We didn't have any questions or answers or authors. So we'll click on apply changes. And again, we'll upload the document. So now we should get more documents here since we're splitting the, the document up into multiple documents. So you can see we're working here and we're creating more documents. So I'll be back once we're finished. Okay, so now that we see we have 79 documents, let's go ahead and ask that same query. And um, let's see, does my insurance cover plumbing? So we can see again, um, we have way better answers here. So shared plumbing and drainage facilities are not covered under this policy, even if they're within boundaries of your home. Um, so then we have, um, again, the second answer here is emergency accidents that are covered by this policy are one, plumbing problems related to the internal hot pipes. Um, so that's a great answer here. Um, you see that it did come up in the second matching document. Um, and so you can go ahead and kind of, um, train Watson to improve your results. So here, if we go here, we can um, we can rate our results for the plumbing problems. So here we can improve the relevance. Um, so we say, this is very relevant. So we like that. So we'll put that to the top. Um, this is relevant as well. And so on, right? So we can say it's relevant and keep doing that and that will help us um, increase our queries. Um, but as you can see there, we get much better results once we do the smart document understanding and we can kind of improve these results as we would like. So that's just a quick tutorial on how to use um, Watson smart document understanding. Um, I really think that this is really great when coupled with a chatbot or other services. Um, so if you ask a chatbot some f a simple um, FAQ questions and, um, and then couple that with Watson Discovery so that when it is a harder question, such as um, this insurance, this this kind of bigger insurance policy question, and we can then look up in our discovery collection, which we have you know thousands of documents, and look up these key passages that may be useful to the uh, user and kind of print out the top three passages. I think that may be a really powerful solution, especially once you give um, Watson a lot more documents to train on and a lot more um, training. So you saw that I only did this within you know 10, 15 minutes. I sped up through some parts, but you can kind of understand that once you annotate more and more documents, this becomes very, very powerful. So again, um, just a quick uh, demo into this uh, discovery service. There's a lot of other features that I haven't really touched upon, such as the sentiment analysis and other enrichments, but I just wanted to show you that smart document understanding, which I think is really, really cool. So. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thumbs up if you really like it. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more um, uh, programming tutorials, whether it's with Watson, blockchain, uh, programming in general. So hope you enjoyed it and um, have a great day.